What's up everybody, Kyle here, TTO Parts, uh, back with another video. Um, today, we're gonna be talking about Microsoft Excel and Clarisoft and the database setup. Now, this is a video I've been meaning to get out for a long time. Um, if you actually go back and look at the first video of our database setup, we use Microsoft Access, and in the video I mentioned you could use Excel as a template too. And I would make a video about that. Well, here we are, a few months late. I apologize, but hey, late is better than never. I break this down into three parts for the database setup using Excel. First part is gonna be making the template. Now that's gonna be identical to what we did with Microsoft Access. That's gonna be done in Clarisoft. Second part is gonna be our Excel database. This is where we're gonna see some changes. And then the final part will be mapping that database from Excel to Clarisoft. Before we jump into those three parts, there's one big note I want you to remember if you plan on using this Excel uh, database setup. What I've found is this will not work properly if your Excel table is not open. Um, so I've done some testing. Uh, Access never gave me this problem, but Excel has. So just keep that in mind if you plan on doing this, you're gonna have to have that Excel table open when you're either pulling or pushing from Clarity or Clarisoft or Clarinet, whatever you're using. We have Clarisoft open. We'll give the first text box a product ID tag. Now these really don't matter. We're just creating a layout. Later, we will update these. Next, we'll put a description, follow that up with a price, and then a quantity text box. Important tip, uh, let's save this file. And we have to make sure it's saved in the Claricom data folder on the C drive because we use that in the Excel spreadsheet. And that's what our database will use to go back and grab this template. The file name is super important. Opening up Excel, uh, I already laid out a table with the variable you, we use in this template. I filled them in with just random information for the sake of this demonstration. Remember earlier, I told you to note the file name you gave the template in Clarisoft. So look at our last column named SIF reference. Each one of these product SKUs points back to the file name with the extension dot SIF. What we're going to do next is the most important step in this process. We need to run up to the search and type in name. Now the name manager function will appear and we need to select that. After we get the pop-up, select new. We're going to get another pop-up and here we're going to give our table a name and then tell Excel which cells constitute the table. A simple test to make sure we did it right is to go grab this drop down on the top left above A1 and see if the table appears. Finally, we head back to Clarisoft. Now it's time to connect our database. We go to Tools, Options, then the Database tab. Select New OBDC Drivers just like we did with our Access. Go to the Connections tab. Select the Use Connection String button and then Build. We get a pop-up. Select Machine Data Source tab, then select New. Now you're gonna get a warning, just ignore it. Select Next, and then we need to search for the Excel driver.xls. Click it and select Next. We'll get another pop-up that asks us to name our database. Name it and select Workbook. Now I have the workbook saved in the same Clearcom data folder. Select this and press OK. Getting back to the data link pop-up, I like to test the connection and then select the catalog to use from the dropdown and test the connection again. If we did everything correctly, we should be able to select our database table in the dropdown. Now we need to start linking the index fields with the variable in Clarisoft. First is the product ID. We will use product ID. The next two will be SIF reference, then description, price, and quantity. Now our database is linked and mapped. Final step is to update the template to look for the variables. We can do that by double clicking the text boxes we laid out. Change the text style from fixed text to user specified data source, then go down, switch the correct index field. So this one, it's gonna be a product ID. We do that for all the others and we are all set. <clears throat> I 
Thank you for watching that video. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you have any questions about Excel, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ciao.